Sausalito, home to around 8,000 in close proximity to San Francisco, is a seemingly perfect place to raise children. However, prior to 2001, Sausalito faced a struggling school system. Earlier that year, a group of dedicated parents joined together and decided to change that. Together, they founded Willow Creek Academy, a charter school. It's a flourishing school with above average test scores and passionate teachers along with volunteer workers. Willow Creek's a free public charter school, um, which means that it's open to any kid that wants to come and nobody pays to, to come to the school. So I think we've got some of the most dedicated leaders, teachers, um, support people that you can find in any school. While Willow Creek has progressed into a prosperous school, on the other side of the freeway, there's a struggling school in desperate need of help, Bayside MLK. Together, they make up the Sausalito Marin City School District. Although they are in the same district, the schools couldn't be any more different. Since 2014, the middle school students in Sausalito Marin City Public School have not gotten instruction from a credentialed math teacher, or a credentialed English teacher, or a credentialed science teacher. We're in a position where Bayside MLK students are struggling. We started off this school year August with no books for our middle schoolers. We lost a lot of teachers prior to this, teachers' aides. Currently, there's only one full-time middle school teacher. There's no foreign language, there's no advanced math, there's a part-time contracted science teacher that only comes two days a week. Last year, 0% of 7th or 8th graders at MLK scored proficient in math. We try really hard here to give the students everything that they need, but because of the population and the configuration of the school, combined with the number of staff members that we have, it's sometimes very challenging. In addition to these academic differences between the two schools, the school board has been accused of financially favoring Willow Creek. These financial inequities have been documented in recent fiscal reports. The school board has been giving more money to the charter school than they were legally required to give, while at the same time they've been making unbelievable cuts to Bayside MLK. Our concern is that the board has decided to give a disproportionate amount uh, a proportion that's not required by law to Willow Creek at the detriment of the Bayside MLK school. Willow Creek does uh, fundraise. Our public schools don't fundraise, so we don't get the option to have money coming in to us other than what we get from the district. Community members have accused the district of favoring Willow Creek due to an unequal representation of the two schools in the school board. The school board in Sausalito Marin City is made up of five seats. Four of the five school board members have students at Willow Creek and or one is a founder of Willow Creek. You'll see a lot of board votes go four votes against one. Um, and so that's why there's concern that the charter school has been favored to the detriment of Bayside MLK. On the other hand, some people believe that the composition of the school board does not play a role in the children's education. I think if you've attended a lot of board meetings in your life, um, you understand how limited the board is and what they can do, right? I don't think it matters if you have kids at one school or another school or you don't have kids at either of the schools. What matters is that you're focused on, you know, setting kids up for success. It's setting them up for failure. If these kids are going into local high schools already behind and struggling, not only are they going to be behind academically, but then they fall behind emotionally and socially. The board really has to do its job in helping the community understand the relations and the responsibilities that it has for the public school versus what it has from the charter school. After these reports came into the public eye, Marin City citizens became concerned that the quality of their children's education was tied to inequities in the school district. Since it's the perception that the students at Bayside Martin Luther King are failing, then this school needs to have more funding. If it's the perception that the students at Willow Creek Academy are achieving, well then it's obvious that they don't need the level of support that the students at Bayside Martin Luther King need. Willow Creek supporters will say, you know, we've done great things in educating 150 students from Marin City. Half our kids are from Marin City, half our kids are from Sausalito. And that's true. 
The problem is there are 300 students from Marin City and the 150 who got left behind at Bayside MLK have received none of what those students have gotten at Willow Creek. Willow Creek parents stand by the idea that funding is not the primary issue within the school's struggle. The school board doesn't have as many choices as you might think in how they fund the two different schools. A lot of it is set by law. So for example, there's an LCFF formula, which is state law mandated, that uh, sets the minimum that you can provide to a charter school. So at the moment, Willow Creek receives that LCFF minimum. This district is one of the best funded districts in the state, right? We have $8 million in our budget. About $5 million goes to Bayside MLK. About $3 million goes to Willow Creek. So we're educating 70% of the kids in the district with 30% of the funding. Bayside MLK has been a challenge school. It's been a failing school for 20, 30 years. So when you look at the challenges that they have, and do you think money is the primary issue here? You know, I don't. Due to the complexity of this issue, a quick and simple solution is not plausible. However, community members have their own ideas on how to resolve the inequities found between the two schools. I wish that we talked a lot more about kind of how the schools can work together and collaboration versus kind of one school versus another school. Willow Creek, a lot of parents come in and volunteer and we'll sit with a student for an hour until they understand how to tell time. We will sit with a student who's preparing for a math test and help them practice using the computer. We need that at both schools. This can be a good performing school with the proper resources and the, and the proper um, dedication by the school board. All schools have one common goal, which is you know to have significant student achievement. And I think that both Bayside and Willow Creek Academy desire that, but the way that that's happening, um, that has to be worked out.